we are in the south of Paris at Norospin, at 12 kilometers from the Eiffel Tower and in the campus of University Paris Saclay. And I am very pleased to welcome you to the Norospin, which belongs to the, to the CEA, the Atomic Center of Energy. Welcome to this e-conference dedicated to an original learning expedition, a unique journey to the French health technologies, and specifically the technologies and platforms developed and supported by the CEA, the French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission. If this institution is well known in France, it's not always the case abroad, and its services and capacities remain sometimes unknown, even to some pharmaceutical industry. Yet, there were here, where we are filming now, where I'm talking to you, there were two world firsts, two world premiere. And maybe you saw that on the slide just at the end of the movie, at the beginning of this conference. Isolt is the most powerful MRI with 11.7 tes Tesla, dedicated to the whole body imaging, human body. And there is another uh, MRI, the 17.2 Tesla MRI for preclinical studies, and this is the most powerful horizontal MRI ever. The purpose of this conference is to let everyone know about these uh, uh, capacities and about these platforms and to bring together the top level scientists of the CEA and health industry. Yet the entrepreneurial spirit is very strong at CA. As early as 1972, its first startup was created, and in 1985, the first incubation capacity. Today, CEA is currently able to launch six to ten startups per year with very promising survival rates. We will focus on this entrepreneurial spirit during the first part of this conference with examples and a round table with a panel of CEA and health industry representatives. Besides startups, Paris Saclay is a dynamic ecosystem with various expertise and a wide range of platforms and services provided by CEA. In the second part of this conference, we'll explore the cutting edge research in imaging, the multi-omics integration, and digital health examples. A second roundtable will focus on interface with industry. At last, during the last part of the conference, we'll talk about technological innovation for phase zero and translational medicine. Once more, a last panel will gather experts from CA and from health industry to explore how imaging animal capacities and innovative therapies research platforms could help industry tomorrow. Thank you to all of you to be connected in France and from Boston. It's the reason why we're speaking here during the, the whole conference. And I know that you're uh, hundreds and you will attend, I think, the conference in live from Paris, from Neurospin, from Saclay. And during the roundtables, you will be invited to participate and to ask your own questions. For that, you find a, a button just on the top right of your screen ask your questions. You can use it whenever you want. And during the round tables, you will ask your questions and I will relay them to uh, the, uh, the panelists. Now it's time to dive into the conference and uh, to open with the opening speech. And at first, I will invite Mr. Olivier Bogilo. Let, let's come on the stage, thank you. I remind that you're chairman of the French uh, Federation of Health Industry, FIFIS, and president of Sanofi France, Mr. Bogilo. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, everyone. Hi, everyone, uh, those are online, those who are here at the Conference Center. I'm uh, obviously very pleased to introduce this conference, uh, and I want uh, to thank first uh, Francois Jacques for his invitation, and, uh, and also all those uh, 
uh, in his team who, who made this uh, event possible, so especially uh, uh, Marco Fiorini and uh, the Aris team. Um, when we uh, met together with Francois, Francois Jacques two years ago, we had a discussion uh, about life science, and he told me that life science was a strategic priority of CER um, because there is the good skills and capabilities in this structure to really uh, move forward science and probably uh, uh, discover and produce innovation for the future. Uh, this, uh, this discussion was before the COVID. And um, I think that the COVID situation changed uh, uh, the game and, and at least to show that the strategic priority chosen by the CEA is actually a strategic priority for France, but also for Europe and probably for the world. We saw during the COVID situation that science came from Germany. The production was developed in the US uh, by Pfizer for the Pfizer BioNTech uh, vaccine. We did in France some research and production from other vaccines. It was a global reaction to a global pandemic. And, um, and everyone was totally convinced after this crisis that we have to invest deeply in life science. Um, I think that, <laughs> you know, as a chairman of FEFIS, I have a, a kind of responsibility to uh, ensure that we have the right level of attractivity in France for, for research in healthcare. And uh, as I'm used to say, uh, attractivity starts with talents. We need to generate some talents in the academic center. We have to make them grow. And we have also to make sure that those talents move from research to entrepreneurship. We need to move, and this is a cultural transformation that we need to, uh, to develop in France, especially, where we have super good talents, we have super good researchers, but we have to move also to this entrepreneurship spirit that will probably develop the next generation of, uh, of uh, on companies uh, in France in the healthcare se sector. If I talk about attractivity, it's also because uh, I think that we need different ingredients to have uh, an attractive uh, um, country or even continent, if I think about Europe. I talk about talents. We need also research development and production. And to do that, I'm fully convinced that we need a public-private partnership at all the stages to accelerate and foster research development and production. This is essential for attractivity. Another very important thing for attractivity is the uh, IP stuff, the patent. We need to train our, our people, to train our on companies, to, to make sure that we have a very strong IP, and I count also on the European regulation to preserve the IP that we have in Europe, so we can protect the companies that will start to innovate in healthcare for sometime quite long period and make sure that they have a re return of investment. We had debate those days about IP, uh, especially after the COVID, and I think this is an important debate to have. Two other elements are super important for attractivity, and this is, uh, I know that Boston is connected and Boston knows that by heart. This is about re regulation and regulation. Regulation is super important to be attractive, and, uh, and recently we had a, a, a very deep discussion with the French government and also with Europe to see how we can foster uh, the attractivity of our country and our continent on, on different things, especially on clinical trials. We need to be super rapid when it comes to first in man and clinical development. And to do that, we need definitely a regulation where we compete at the right speed, at, uh, at the right level globally. When it comes to regulation, it's much more difficult, especially after a crisis like this one, where we have deficit in uh, our, our sickness fund or social system. And, uh, but it's totally key. Without growth, we won't have in the future investment. Everything is related. Talent, research, development, IP, and then regulation. But without growth in a, in a continent or in a country like France, we won't have the investment at the right level. So that's why as a 
chairman of La Fefis, um, I try with my colleagues and most of you here in this room to make sure that we work in partnership with center like Le CEA, with definitely one of the top in the world, but also partnership with the government and, uh, and different academic center so we can do what has been done in Boston in the past, building an ecosystem where we uh, are able to uh, bring life science to the next level. And I'm pretty sure that when I looked at the summary uh, of, uh, of the agenda uh, of the program that we have today, that you will have all the opportunity to see the, the science, the companies, the startups that we have here, th and the science is super strong at the CEA. I hope that, uh, Francois, uh, we will have a very good journey, as it, it is mentioned in the title, a unique journey for the best of healthcare technology. Thank you very much, and, uh, and enjoy this conference. Bye. Thank you very much, Olivier Bougilo, for this uh, introduction, first introduction speech. And now I give the floor to you, Mr. Francois Jacques. You are chairman of the CEA, who welcomes us here today. Thank you. So, hi to everyone, and, and thanks to Olivier for his kind words and his introduction. Uh, welcome here. Uh, welcome for this first uh, learning expedition. I, I was quite struck by this idea of learning expedition. I think that that's a, that's a, that's a very interesting motto because it it brings together the best of the past. That is expedition as we we meant it in the 19th century. You know Humboldt or people like like that, and what we are experiencing now in the 21st century and on an expedition for what we, we don't know exactly what but we, we have to discover it so so very pleased to 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 take part very pleased also to welcome here uh, this initiative by by aris i think that's very symbolic for us very symbolic to be to be the first chosen to to do so very symbolic to be in saclay saclay a major french university where we want really to promote enhance an ecosystem a cluster of of various competencies and and, and i think that's a good sign to be as was mentioned in the introduction, in uh, Neurospin, with a major, uh, let's say, flagship of what we can achieve in terms of technology research and so on. So, uh, I don't want to describe what, what is CEA uh, that was done, uh, at least par partially uh, previously, but maybe I can uh, stress one point. CEA is what, in my, let's say, European language, I would call a RTO, Research and Technology Organization. What does it mean? Uh, that means a place where you've got a convergence between science, technology, technological platform, industry, uh, uses, market, and also regulation to uh, be able to decipher what are the solutions for the future, for the, the main societal stakes we have in, in the coming years. We are not unique in Europe. Think of Fraunhofer Gesellschaft in, in, in Germany, think of TNO in, in the Netherlands, or VTT in Finland, or Catapult in, in the UK, and, and so on. But this model is very at the earth of what uh, CA is doing. To what do we apply this model? We, we've got a strategy with three main pillars, uh, energy transition, obviously we, we, we are coming for the nuclear, so we are interested in energy, IT revolution, and health. And uh, at first, when, when I was explaining this strategy, people were wondering, uh, CA doing energy that was clear, just because of nuclear atoms and, uh, and so on. IT, that was a bit less clear, but anyway, microelectronics, people were knowing that we, 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 we did that in the past. But health, that was, well, there, there are hospitals, there are INSERMs or, or, or people like that. And what I wanted to stress is what CA can bring to this issue. That is not just only taking in care, uh, taking in care, um, uh, being, being interested in health for health, but bringing an added value. And the added value is to bring together what we can do in the field of micro and nanotechnologies, what we can do in the field of data, what we can do in the field of simulation, modelization, and so on. And that combined with very fundamental uh, competencies, expertise in the field of biology, genomics, and so on. And, and that's what makes CA unique, not a competitor of other French uh, uh, organization, but clearly 
a place where we can achieve something using our model of ERTO and applying it to health uh, issues. And we, I, I don't want to enter into too many details about what we are doing, but let's just know that uh, Olivier was speaking, of, uh, was speaking of patents. We are the first uh, public French actors in terms of another patent each year. Uh, we are also, we've also track record in terms of creating startups in the field of health uh, science 22. Uh, that's 10 percent of the overall number of startups we, we created, but nevertheless, that, 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 that's important. Uh, obviously, those technological platforms where we can bring together the technology of the nuclear, the technology of microelectronics, uh, but also the best uh, practices in terms of biology, all that make, I think, uh, a model where, and that here comes the point of the talents and here comes the point of the attractivity, I think we have to make it better known because I think that's not obvious for everyone that, that, that CIA is working in this field. And I think that we, we have a lot to win on both sides, because if we are able to build those connections, if we are to build this uh, intertwined uh, uh, approach between industry, between uh, hospitals, between uh, uh, physicians, uh, between patients, and, and also between engineers and scientists. And I must say that in CIA, engineers or scientists, that's the same. We, 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 we do not make a, a great divide between both. That, that's another sign of what, what we are. If we can achieve that, I think, we will be able to uh, uh, be a hallmark in, in, in the French landscape. So th that's clearly something we, we, we already have some successes, but many things are still to be done. But in any case, I, I'm hopeful that uh, a journey, in a sense, because this expedition is a journey uh, like that, will help us to, to, to enhance this approach. And I hope what I said, uh, if not demonstrated, at least gave you some indication that we, we, we qualify, in a sense, for, for this learning expedition. And I hope all the scientists here, all the engineers here, will be very proud to show you what uh, CA can do, what CA achieved, and probably um, trigger some new ideas in terms of what can, could be done in, 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 the coming, uh, in the coming years. So again, thanks to the, all the organizers. and. Very proud to, to, to have this uh, expedition here in Saclay. Uh, thanks for having us, uh, we would say, uh, on television and radio. But, but uh, I'm sure it will be a fruitful uh, half journey because we don't know if it's morning or if it's afternoon. So thanks again. Thank you very much, François-Jacques, for this introduction and for welcoming us. Indeed, uh, morning, afternoon, depends on where we are. Um, now it's time to uh, step into the conference in itself and to have some more information about what you call the CEA entrepreneurial spirit. And before having a first round table and to discuss with partners, people involved in the platforms of the CEA and industry, we will have a few um, hints and more a focus on uh, platforms and capacities which are available here in CEA and especially here in Saclay and Neurospin. And uh, to start, we will uh, listen to Henri Benek and uh, Thomas Journeau they will present through a short video report their uh, startup, Ceres Brain Therapeutics. <laughs> 